Hey everyone, it's Calvin. I know introductions are supposed to be short, however, I have a lot to cover and if you want to enjoy this channel, I think it's worth knowing what I intend to do with it. Eccentricrance is a project I started back in 2019 that eventually went through a huge remastering in early 2023, which I'll explain in the second half of this video. The name Eccentric Rants is one that longtime viewers have found very fitting, so I've stuck with it. The videos I do here usually center around topics that I take a lot of personal interest in. Originally, I stuck to talking about politics from a leftist viewpoint, but nowadays I also discuss other special interests of mine like the audiophile hobby, the furry fandom, and Vaporwave to name a few. While many viewers on my first channel tried hyping me up, saying it deserved more attention or subscribers, I don't intend for my journey to go in this direction. As a writer with experience doing video essays for a few years now, I've learned not to sacrifice content quality for attention. Yes, this should be obvious, but back in 2019 I was too focused on trying to make enough views to justify the time I spent on each video. Nowadays, I'm focused on having fun and making content I won't look back on later with disappointment. What this means is that I do not intend to make sensationalist content, nor am I going to be wasting my time sharing it on platforms like Reddit or Discord. If you want to, feel free but I'd rather have a smaller audience that actually cares instead of one that is larger and disinterested. This also means I won't be uploading on a schedule. Sure, my remasters were uploaded weekly to get through the backlog, but with new content I will take whatever amount of time I feel is needed and then set up a scheduled upload a week before it goes live so you know when to expect it. If you're really that worried about whether or not I'm still doing okay or what progress I've made on my next video, then I suggest joining my Discord server which is in the link tree in the description below. If you happen to really like my content, there's also a Ko-Fi link in there as well. I'm not on Patreon because I don't intend to do this for a living or as a supplement to my income. If anything, I just see Ko-Fi donations as a way to say thanks for when you feel a comment or like doesn't fully express your appreciation. Now to discuss the elephant in the room, the remaster project. Why did I delete the entirety of my old channel and make this one? Well, as I said earlier, I made a lot of rushed content that I looked back on with disappointment. Additionally, I had some pretty bad subscriber burn due to not tempering my audience's expectations of my content and upload frequency. On this channel, I hold my videos to some basic standards, and remastered a lot of my old content to meet those standards. Remastered videos now have proper captions, background music, nicer editing, cleaner voice audio, and, of those that needed them, timestamps. Any videos that didn't get the basic remaster treatment will be recycled or rewritten into better videos to be uploaded later. One thing I need to note about my old content is that it's evidence of how much my life has changed in the four years between the beginning of my previous channel and this one. I'm not going to sanitize the depressing parts of my old content, because I find it important for my followers to know that my life wasn't always stable like it is currently, and that I've endured struggles that eventually led me to where I am now. Yes, you'll be able to hear the depression and lack of energy in my voice. Yes, I will probably say some concerningly depressing things that I don't think about nowadays, or reference bad experiences that are long past me. But as I said, it's crucial not to cover that up or hide it, because it's an important part of my life. Also, as a quick note on remastered videos, there will probably be some old articles or stats that could have been replaced with something a bit more recent, but I've decided not to swap that information out since A, such new information doesn't add much to the overall video in my opinion, and B, it's incredibly time consuming since switching out those sources would require a complete remake instead of a remaster. So before people complain about outdated sources, I'm aware that those updates were sacrificed for the sake of saving a huge amount of editing time, and if it's warranted, I can always make follow-up videos. Anyways, the remastering project aside, I hope you as a potential viewer can be patient with me and perhaps enjoy my unique flavor of content in this little corner of the internet. This project gives me meaning, and to some, a feeling of catharsis and understanding. 